Hello and welcome to the Movie Slackers. I'm a Robbie Rob. We got a Pixel Sean McGillicuddy <laughs> and Johnny Two Toes. Yes, he only has two toes. You same on square. Today we're reviewing a new movie that came out called Pixels with Adam Sandler. Pixels. 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 Uh, um, it's basically about they had uh, back in the Reagan days they sent out a, a, a spacecraft or whatever, and uh, in it, it had like some. Uh, old the 80s video games and stuff like that too. Like a time capsule. And, yeah. And uh, basically an alien race picks it up and, and misinterprets it as a challenge. A challenge or act of war. Challenge the so war. So they come back and, and uh, basically yeah, start dropping all these 80s Pac-Man and was Centipede, Centipede. Galaga. Galaga, With Smurfs. You, you name it. You know, if it was Namco or anything else like that, they were popping it out of there. Um <laughs> And this is a Paperboy. and this is an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, it is most definitely Adam Sandler movie with a little Kevin James thrown in there. Yeah, Kevin James. Now you don't see a few. You don't see a few of his regulars. Uh, yeah, there wasn't. You do, do see Dan yeah. Patrick in there. Yeah, but a and, lot of his regulars and, and, and you don't see. Gang, yeah, Dan Patrick's gang too. But. Yeah, it is actually. I thought it was a pretty I mean, good. Pretty good movie. They they got the arcade look down pat. The pixelation. Uh, CGI stuff was really good, very well done. Uh, but like I said, it's just basically it's a it's an Adam Sandler. It's meant to be fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I laughed. You know, a good majority yeah. of it. I you know, there was, there, I, I was the one playing those games in the eighties stuff, so I could definitely connect. And there's a lot of and young I'm an Adam Sandler fan, and yeah, there was a lot of young kids yeah. in there. They were laughing up, laughing it up pretty good. I so mean, we were laughing. I mean, everybody around us was laughing. There was even a little bit of a in the theater we were at. There was a little bit of applause at the end. So, so I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It turned out seemed I mean, like it was pretty good I overall, mean, yeah. like a good family movie. Yeah. Adults would appreciate it a lot. Of, of course, a lot of the guys back mm-hmm. in the day, he was in their forties, maybe fifties, who played a lot of mm-hmm. Atari back then. They'll they'll appreciate the graphics and all mm-hmm. the little things you see in there. Mm-hmm. And then the kids kind of enjoy it just because of the colorful. I mean, it's very colorful. And a lo- it's, lot of a lot of funny little jokes and stuff like that. And yeah, I, th- I think I think you'll mm-hmm. like it if if you look at it for what it is. Uh, if you're kind of snobby and stuff like that, a little, <laughs> little movie snod, you may not like it. You may yeah. try to, you may try to crap down on it if you're oh, like, yeah. if, you're, if you're a little movie snob, it's oh, yeah. an Oscar film. Oh, <laughs> but it's not the miss. Yeah, it's not going to win any awards or anything like that. But it's, it's not. It's a, yeah, like I said, it's a it's Adam just, Sandler movie. It's not meant to be like that. It's just, a, it's just a fun time that you can take probably your seven and up kids. I mean, mm-hmm. maybe six ish might enjoy it enough. But uh, yeah, it's just. I mean, Mm-hmm. Just a fun well, movie. Like said, yeah, if you're a little movie snood or something like that. A little and in other words, <laughs> if you're me, <laughs> you I'm, like I'm thinking on him because I, I knew you didn't, I knew you didn't care much for it. So I'm, I'm doing words, it. I'm doing it in the me, jest. You did not like but, this movie, but, and I, I but, but remember, the, yeah, he was calling the girl uh, Adam Sandler, the girl he fell in love with. That was she was snotty at first, as little mm-hmm. like that, and you know. So, so that's where I was messing around with you. Uh, this, you know, I. I I wasn't looking forward to this movie, to be honest. I was dreading it. You already had your mind made up. But no, I... I, You did. Admit it. I was telling Sean, Uh I said, there's no way this movie's going to be that bad. Uh There's no way. And I'm driving up to the theater, and I said, there's no way. No, it's going to be a lot better than I think it's going to be. I'm actually going to like it. It's going to be, you know, uh, sort of like uh, San Andreas, Mm -hmm. where where it was just a big popcorn, you know, big dumb summer movie. Mm -hmm. This movie sucked. Okay? It wasn't Mm -hmm. funny. It wasn't uh, enjoyable. Uh, I, I thought that as much as I liked these actors and actresses, mm-hmm. I couldn't have cared less if they mm-hmm. if they all made it or not. You know, and I was telling I was telling Sean that the Josh it was it Josh Gad, the uh, he was he was just obnoxious to the whole movie. He's supposed to be. He was almost a. Uh... But he, he was but on the verge nothing. of being a serial killer or something because he was <laughs> just, so war- warped in the head. Oh, that's oh, that's comedy. <laughs> yeah. He had chloroform. <laughs> he was you in know, the, he was in the back of uh, Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler's character's van. <laughs> I mean, Adam Monica Sandler does what Adam Sandler does, and he, he makes these snide comments through, through the movie. And I've I've you know I like a lot of Adam Sandler films. I liked Happy Gilmore. I liked mm-hmm. I liked The Water Boy for the most part. I liked uh, um, uh, Billy Madison was okay. Did you enjoy the the soundtrack? In it, the uh, that's some good music. The musical score yeah. by Henry Jackman is very good. Uh, that yeah. I will give it thumbs up for that one. Um, I did like Michelle Monaghan. She's a really, really good actress. Mm-hmm. She's been in some very, very you know, weighty films. And what she's doing in this piece of crap is beyond me. I have no idea what well, she what, wasn't originally going to be in it. Was somebody I forget who it was, but oh. somebody else was originally picked for that 
that well, I, oh, it was, I think it was Jennifer Aniston. That's what it was. Because well, she's, she's been in a lot of Adam Sandler movies, and she was actually going to be you know, in that uh, role I just, first. Um, and, uh, but, it just, I mean, me, you, you got to admit, though, you heard a lot of people around you having fun. Yeah. Didn't you? I guess they were drinking before I mean, they came in the theater. <laughs> I mean, but, but, did, but did you not? You heard a lot of people laughing. Well, I, I didn't like the movie. I mean, what and, and, I just and didn't you, like it. You heard it, the applause at the end. Yeah, so yeah. what you want? Put it, put it this way. Yeah. If you played a lot of these games back in the 80s, you got kids now, you'll probably enjoy it enough. It's it's worth watching. And if you enjoy the Adam, other yeah. Adam Sandler goofy yeah. movies, like I did, and I did Caddyshack like Shack and, and Happy uh, Gilmore, Waterboy, Waterboy. I liked I liked the Wedding Singer. I mean, I'm not yeah. a snob when it yeah. comes to Adam Sandler. I can watch some of his his slapstick comedies, mm-hmm. and I can watch movies like Rain Over Me and Punch Drunk Love, which are more serious films of his, mm-hmm. that are also good. That are, the guy can act. Yeah. Why he keeps churning out this garbage is beyond me. I don't understand it. If you like the first Grown Ups, you'd probably like I mean, it. Right. It, wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't. And Christopher, Chris Columbus, who directed this, directed the first two Harry Potter movies. Those movies were, were kid films mm-hmm. slash adult films, and they were smart. They were fun. They were, they were imaginative. There's nothing in this movie that is fun for me. Nothing. And I enjoy these games. This is what I'm talking. You know, the games. <laughs> it makes me want to go and play the games and not see the movie. That's the whole point of it. So, but you guys liked the movie, and, and your, your, your son Nick liked it, and that was oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. My and, son and loved it. People who yeah. want to, families who want to take their kids to yeah. the movie, you can watch this movie. And, you can and, enjoy and I think, it. I think you might talk about before. It might have been this one might have been a little bit dumbed down too. Like either one of you, one of you two mentioned it. Like Minions was. Yeah, they, we're, we're, we're the, for the kids and stuff. It's but, all yeah. kids. There's nothing there for the and, adults and I, to enjoy. I can maybe say that part, but but yeah, definitely. I, I know definitely the kids enjoyed it, and probably yeah. Uh, you know, and Kevin the, James. Yeah. Kevin James can do good films too, mm-hmm. and, and what he's. This, he, he, he was he was the president in this one, which <laughs> did I have no problem. You know, I, I, I know they were wanting somebody to be his ex friend. I mean, not ex friend, his friend they grew up with and stuff yeah. too. But he was probably a little bit too goofy. I mean, well, the whole I, scene where he's in there with the with the cake and all that was just totally inappropriate. Well, he was trying to get closer to his wife. But. You, you definitely can't believe it. <laughs> but it was kind of yeah. yeah out but of that, the, that was his character. Yeah, that I, I give credit for the visuals um, on, of Kareem. Now, who, who was the guy that that beat him in when he was younger? I can't think of the guy's name. And uh, he was the king of Donkey Kong and stuff. But oh, that was I Peter Dinklage. Yeah, yeah, he was. I thought he was pretty funny. He was okay. No, he's <laughs> the one I didn't think was very funny. Oh, you didn't think he was that funny? No. No, he's, yeah, the, he's guy scary, Ludlow, he's kind of flat. the guy that played Love Low, the guy that played Love Low, whatever his name is. Yeah, that's Josh Gad. Yeah, I thought he was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Obnoxious. I mean, yeah, but he was he's supposed to be the soldiers. Un- that, yeah, that's pretty funny. Like the the sailors, the uh, SEAL team. You're on the floor. You're a soldier. There you are. <laughs> not not, uh, not funny. Still. Not funny. Um, but kids will enjoy it. Kids will like it. And like I said, it's, if you, it's if you harmless. Play them, I mean, there's nothing in there that's going to really offend your your sensibilities. There's no harsh language or extreme violence. It's just, it's just. Well, there, me, was it was, it was there was dumb. very extreme uh, there was a lot of pixelated gaming. ground. There was a lot of gaming violence. There was. <laughs> no. Well, no, 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 actually, <laughs> yeah. from the 80s, but yeah, yeah, not compared to what the no. games are today. No, no, no. It's totally different, <laughs> yeah. There's the <laughs> somebody knocking up. If you like the games, knocking Donkey Kong upside the head. Graphics, like, yeah. And your kids will like the movie. Uh, and if you love your Donkey Kong. All right, well, let's give it slack, son. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give Go. it a four. Uh, I'll give it a three and a half. Two. Two. That's it. That's better than zero. It's better than yeah. Well, uh, no, this is better than Sharknado. I, actually, I watch those again. Actually, Sharknado. I'm going to give it a 10. Sharknado. So when we put it on our website, we can... No, <laughs> I, I'll give it... A, so I get a three and a half slacks. <laughs> he, never, he never saw the movie. Sharknado, he was he he saw, always the wise one. You didn't me. see Sharknado 3. No, I, I saw the commercial. And that's all I needed. Uh, that's all I needed I'll, to hang myself. I like the commercial. And I failed at that. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about pixels. Yeah. Um, Hey, thank you, kids. It's fun. Was there anybody else or anything in there? I'll ask both of you guys that you were actually surprised to see. I know, you know, we saw some trailers and stuff, but there was definitely other stuff in there. Nope, it's almost and, a movie on the trailers. Uh, well, a couple of things have changed. Like you Listen, see, people, <laughs> when you make a trailer, don't reveal the whole movie. Exactly. Well, they did. Yeah. They actually, like we're talking about in the trailer, it shows Kevin James shooting, shooting the smurf. smurf. But in Spoiler. the movie, we're not gonna, we're not going to say nothing. It wasn't somebody else shoots it. They yeah, we won't say anything. They stuff hit the cutting room floor. Some yeah. of the stuff was the same so, stuff. So, just reversed so they around. did kind of ch- change it up a little bit yeah. to kind of. I mean, maybe it was to fully. I don't know to throw well, you off a little bit. For me, Michelle, Michelle Monaghan was was good in the film. The soundtrack was good in the visuals, and that's mm-hmm. that's about it. Yeah, uh, that's about it. What about the uh, 
the uh, pixelated uh, girl character at the end that was oh Amber Benson that loved yeah, yeah. No, completely worthless cool. <laughs> completely worthless I don't, yeah we're trying, still trying to figure out if she was actually a real game character or yeah. something that was made up I guess it was she made up good when they brought her into focus yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. instead of the eighties pixelated <laughs> version <laughs> yeah she's a she's a good looking girl yeah. but I'm just it just I mean again that was something that was totally worthless uh, to the movie it didn't did nothing for the movie nothing if you want to take the family out for the weekend and see a movie that the kids are going to like it's a fun filled um, family like, entertainment you know, you, I think you know something like you know something if you're going to take your kids out to see a movie take them to see Ant-Man a much 10 times better or, film or, than or, or, or stay at home save some money and watch, watch Sharknado 3 no don't waste your time with <laughs> or stay at home and watch all of our videos yeah, yeah. that's an idea that's watch the best it. idea well, it doesn't get any better than that from my hanging yourself. <laughs> now, now, so too. The, the, what, what was the? I'm sorry, I can't think of the the guy that played the admiral. Oh, uh, Brian Cox. I thought he was. He, I thought his character was amusing. Yeah, his but, point, he had some and, good and, looks. And, yeah. Sean Bean was in it, and yeah. you know, again, you know, these, these these are characters that really didn't add into the story. Uh, they're basically just throwaway characters. Was was that the name of the admiral? I say it's a beer commercial. Oh, yeah, it's a beer yeah. commercial. Brian yeah, Cox. there's a part about the playing football, aka soccer, in the beer commercial and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty it's funny it. too. It's worth taking the kids yeah. to. The oh, kids will laugh. Bear commercial. Take them to see Ant Man. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> take them to both. Let's so, support the industry. <laughs> so we are the Movie Slackers. Uh, sub- subscribe, like, and comment to us on Movie Slackers YouTube channel, and also check us out at movieslackers.com. <laughs>